Hi, my name's Anastasia. I am the Dog Tooth Fairy. I'm an independent Emmy Pet distributor and I also offer Zoom online training courses to help you get the best results with your Emmy Pet ultrasonic toothbrush. So today I'm going to talk to you about plaque and tartar and the differences between plaque and tartar because this is something that I get asked about quite a lot. So I'm going to show you my dental um, can I dental health model here so uh, we can see that this dog's got really nice pink healthy gums got really nice white teeth and white dental enamel so this is really healthy on this side we can see that this side's really unhealthy so we've got a lot of problems going on with this um, dog's mouth but today I'm going to focus on the plaque and the tartar so we can see the plaque here and plaque is actually caused by food particles that get lodged in the little nooks and crannies and the crevices of the teeth and also around the gum line. So the food parts start to build up and when the food parts aren't brushed away through um, toothbrushing, either ultrasonic or manual or if the dog doesn't have um, you know a suitable diet or the dog doesn't have um, regular dental chews to help remove this food stuff what happens is that food will just build up and lodge and it starts to turn into plaque which often looks like a fine film covering the teeth this could be brown or it could be yellow in color now if this plaque's left for any period of time what happens is the plaque hardens um, it it combines with minerals in the dog's mouth and it actually mineralizes and hardens and thickens over time and it will turn into tartar. Now when the tartar is there it is a lot more difficult to remove than the plaque. So the tartar is more difficult to remove than the plaque and obviously you've got a lot of um, dead mineralized bacteria sitting around the gum line it causes an awful lot of aggravation to that gum. The gums can get red, they can get sore, they can bleed, they can get angry and inflamed. You get your gum disease, which is your gingivitis. And it's a really um, bad route to infection there. Tartar can be really problematic for a dog's health. Um, it's really, really important to get into a good dental health routine with your dog, um, whether that be through Emipet teeth cleaning, or through giving your dog um, regular dental rewards, checking your dog's teeth once a week and just really make sure that you're keeping the plaque and the tartar at bay.